All right, I'm so tall. All right. So, when I was 15 years old, I got sober and I started going to 12-step meetings. And now mostly it was grown-ups, you know, adults that went to these meetings, but there were a handful of us teenagers. And by a handful, I mean me and about a dozen boys. And I went to an all-girls school. And you know, some of those boys I thought were really cute. And some of those boys thought I was really cute, but the boys that I thought were cute didn't think I was cute. And the boys that thought I was cute, I didn't think they were cute, which is, I guess, how teenagers go, right? Um, and this one boy gave me a ride to a meeting one day, and he said to me, you know, I, I can't, please don't call me for rides anymore. Um, I can't give you a ride because I really like you, and I know you don't like me. And we were at the McDonald's drive through and he got a Diet Coke, and I said, you know, that's very mature of you, and I understand we can't be friends. And we went to the meeting, and I'm sitting there, I hear some snickers, and I hear some laughs, and I hear some whispers. And it turned out that boy told them that I leaned over and gave him a blowjob in the McDonald's drive through which obviously I hadn't done for the record. And then, Another boy said, oh, me too. And then another boy said, well, I had sex with her too. And another and another and another until all of them, or at least a preponderance of them, were saying that they had had sex with me. And every time I walked into those meetings and I walked by them and they would laugh and they would, they would whisper and I would sit there and my shoulders would slump and I just wanted to crumble into dust and blow away. And I went home and I said to my mother, I can't do it anymore. And my mother said, you have to. You have to go back and hold your head up and walk down and don't let them take this away from you. This means too much to you. And you know, I didn't have a car, so I had to go where she took me and that's the only place she would take me. So I, I kept going. And I sat there and over time, their, their laughters turned to smirks, turned to silence. And over time, one by one, those boys each came up to me and apologized and told me they were trying to drive me away and they were sorry. But if I could go back with my 59, or sorry, 49-year-old brain <laughs> and my 15-year-old body, if I could go back and have a do-over, well, next time, when they started talking and laughing, I would turn on the ball of my foot, I would hold my shoulders back and my head at a cocky angle, and I would say, really? In what world do you think you could be with me? And I would say, you know, to the one boy who might have had some truth to his story, honey, you are not worth anything to gossip about. And if I could go back next time, I would match ridicule for ridicule and scorn for scorn, and I would stand there until they blinked and they slunk away. And I would stand there and for two solid minutes, I would just feel that hot, sweet revenge. And then I would offer a truce, and I would be the better person and the bigger person, and I would say, I'll forgive, but I'm damn sure not going to forget. And then next time that they saw the only girl in the room, maybe they wouldn't gossip. And next time there was a little mouse that they were trying to smush, they would remember that mice can be damn fast and they have teeth. Thank you. <laughs>